Are you someone that likes to travel and go see places? Today, we're excited to show you some of the places you should see in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka has a lot of wonderful places to see. There's something for everyone, from old towns to beautiful landscapes. Watch this video all the way to the end to find out. We're also going to talk about the beach the Times newspaper says is Sri Lanka's best beach. So, let's get started. First on the list is Sagiriya, which is an old rock castle from the 5th century. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and its beautiful paintings have made it quite famous. On top of the rock, there are beautiful flowers and views that will take your breath away. Also known as the Lion Rock, Sagiriya is not only famous for its ancient fortress but also for its beautifully landscaped gardens and water features. The frescoes found on the rock depict celestial maidens and are a highlight for visitors interested in art and history. The site is surrounded by the remnants of an extensive network of gardens, reservoirs, and canals. It can be hard and steep to get to the top of Sagiriya though. But the view from the top is well worth it. The next stop is the charming hill station of Ella in the Central Mountains. Here, people can take walks through tea gardens that are very pretty. You can walk up Little Adam's Peak or ride a train through the countryside. This train track is also thought to be one of the most beautiful in the world. The Nine Arch Bridge in Ella is also a very beautiful sight. If you see a train, go over the bridge, you can be sure that things will go well for you. Ella is known for its lush green landscapes, which are perfect for nature lovers. Besides Little Adam's Peak and the famous Nine Arches Bridge, you can hike to Ella Rock for even more stunning views. The town itself has a relaxed vibe, with plenty of guest houses and restaurants catering to travelers. Sri Lanka's south coast has a beautiful beach town called Anawatuna. It is known for its beaches with golden sand and clear water. It is a famous place to swim, surf, and snorkel because it has beaches and coral reefs. Woods Beach is a secret beach that is hidden in the woods of Anawatuna. Ten years ago, only people who lived there and the most curious guests knew about it. This beach has become another place to go because of Instagram. Anawatuna is not just about its main beach. It's also a great place for diving, and there are nearby shipwrecks to explore. Jungle Beach a secluded spot not far from Unawatuna, offers a more serene escape. Don't forget to indulge in delicious seafood at the beachside restaurants. We also suggest going to the Peace Pagoda in Japan. It is a favorite place for tourists to visit. The town of Rumasala is close to Unawatuna on the island's south side. It was made in 2004 by the Japanese Buddhist order Nipponzen Myohoji to draw attention to their religion. This pagoda is not only a place of worship but also offers panoramic views of the surrounding coastline. It's a serene spot to meditate and appreciate the natural beauty of Sri Lanka's southern coast. Gale is a city on the coast of Sri Lanka that has been around for a long time and is known for its history, for its buildings from when it was ruled by the Dutch, its beautiful beaches, and its busy markets. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Gale Fort is a must-see and has a wide range of interesting museums, shops, and bars. Gale also has a lively art scene, with a lot of shops and shows where local artists' work can be seen. About 22 kilometers east of Matara is Dikwela, which is another great beach town. It's a calmer, less busy option to some of the busier places. It has some of the best beaches on the south coast and is a beach town. Inside the Gale Fort, you'll find narrow streets with colonial-era buildings that now house boutique shops, cafes, and galleries. The Gale International Cricket Stadium is another attraction for sports enthusiasts. And make sure you don't miss the sunset views from the fort's walls. Dikwela is known not only for its beautiful beaches, but also for the traditional stilt fishing that is done there, which can be seen at morning and sunset along the coast. Besides the stunning beaches, Dikwela is known for its vibrant coral reefs, making it an excellent place for snorkeling and scuba diving. The nearby Tangal Beach is also worth a visit for its tranquil atmosphere. Ratnapura is where Big Adam's Peak is. It is a favorite place to hike for people who want a more difficult trek. It takes about 4 hours to walk up the road to the top, 
and has amazing views of the mountains and woods around it. Hikers can also stop at old churches and shrines along the way, making the trip more important from a cultural point of view. The climb up the mountain should begin early in the evening, so you can have enough time to get to the top before the beautiful dawn. While Adam's Peak in the script refers to Little Adam's Peak in Ella, Big Adam's Peak in Ratnapura offers a more challenging hike with fewer tourists. It's known for its cool, misty climate and lush surroundings. Yala National Park is a must-see for people who love wildlife. Tourists can go on safari and look for lions here. You can see elephants, alligators, and many kinds of birds in their natural environments. There are also a number of historical sites in Yala. The Sitholpawa Rock Temple, which was built in the 2nd century BCE, is one of them. Yala is also home to the highest density of leopards in the world, making it a prime spot for wildlife enthusiasts. Apart from the mentioned Sitholpawa Rock Temple, the park is scattered with ancient ruins and burial grounds. Another old city that is on the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites is Anuradhapura. It used to be the center of Buddhism in Sri Lanka, and its ruins can be seen by tourists. There are a lot of churches and stupas, like the impressive Jetavana. This ancient city was the first capital of Sri Lanka and is filled with historical and religious significance. Make sure to explore the sacred Bodhi tree, one of the oldest trees in the world, and the impressive Abhyagiri Dagoba. As stated at the start of the video, now, we'll talk about what The Times newspaper says is Sri Lanka's best beach. Hello Marissa. On Sri Lanka's southern coast, there is a beautiful fishing village called Marissa. It's famous for its beautiful beaches, blue water, and easygoing vibe. Tourists from all over the world visit it often because of this. Whale watching is one of the best things to do in Marissa as it is one of the best places in the world to see dolphins, blue whales, and sperm whales. On a boat tour, tourists can see these. You can get close to beautiful animals in their natural environment. Marissa is a great place to surf as well. There are a number of surf schools that teach both new and expert surfers. The town has a laid-back feel, and there are many cafes and bars along the beach. So, it's a great place to relax and enjoy the tropical vibe. Marissa is not only about whale watching, it's also a hotspot for enjoying Sri Lankan cuisine. Be sure to try some of the local seafood dishes at the beachfront restaurants. Marissa's beaches are known for their gentle waves, making it a great place to learn to surf. We're glad you came with us on this trip through Sri Lanka. We hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and let the bell go off, so you don't miss out on any of our new trip plans.